Hello and welcome to this V-Ray for Maya tutorial where you will learn some of the ways you can use V-Ray to set up and change your project's lighting. There are many approaches to lighting a scene with V-Ray. The most straightforward is to create a sun and sky from the toolbar. Before we begin, let's start interactive rendering to visualize the changes we make. Because the V-Ray sun and sky are procedural, you can just move the sun's gizmo in the viewport and V-Ray will take care of the sky's appearance to match the sun position and intensity. That way, we can create any time of day from dawn to noon. For more control, we can go to the attributes of the sun and change the parameters of our sun from there. Here, we have access to things like intensity, size, and more. Let's change the sky to the PRG Clear Sky version as it has a more colorful gradient. Then, let's tweak the size of the parameter to change the shadow's softness. This parameter can greatly affect the mood in your renders. An alternative method is HDRI lighting, which is also pretty simple. We are going to use Chaos Cosmos to add our HDRI. We can import it by just clicking on this button and V-Ray will automatically create a dome light with the HDRI texture applied. We can easily control the lighting by enabling Use Transforms and rotating the dome light. Now, let's add an evening dome to create a night version of the scene. This means we will need some artificial lighting. This is where the V-Ray plain light can help. Again, select it from the toolbar and V-Ray will place it in the middle of our scene. This light source will act as a flashlight, so we will add some directionality to simulate the cone shape of a real life flashlight. Next, let's create a sphere light. The first thing we can do is set it to invisible. This way, we will no longer see it in our scene, but it will cast its area of light. Before we proceed with production rendering, always add the light mix render element from the render settings menu. This gives additional flexibility to adjust the lighting in our image even after we have rendered it out. Now let's render the scene. As you can see in the VFB, we have a light mix option that allows us to adjust the light in our scene without re-rendering. We can turn them on or off, adjust their brightness, and even change the color. As you can see, V-Ray for Maya makes lighting easy. Our other videos cover materials and an introduction to the basics of V-Ray for Maya.